Wilmer here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a sort of dissolving effect. Just to let you know this tutorial was requested by someone and you can request your own by just commenting down below what you want me to do next. So for this effect you're going to have to have your camera locked down on a tripod so that it won't move while you take some shots. You're going to need to take two shots, one where there's no one in the frame and then another one of your actor in the frame acting out. Also, while you're taking these shots, make sure your lighting doesn't change, so sort of keep your exposure the same. And try to shoot in a controlled lighting area, like indoors, preferably, because outside the light is always changing. So yeah, once you've shot your clips, then we can hop right into Power Director. Okay, so once you're in Power Director, you just want to take the clip that you're using, uh, or the two um, shots that you took and put them into the timeline and cut it at the beginning here so that there is some time where it's just the background. Then cut it to the part where you want your actor to appear and put these two together. Don't forget to trim it at the end like you would on any video. Okay, so now getting into the effect. Go to the first frame of this clip here or just click on it, it should take you automatically to the first. Then take a snapshot of the video. Okay. Now you have your snapshot right here. Bring it down into the timeline, just anywhere you want actually. Just the clip below it. Then right click select edit video image and then edit in photo director since the snapshot was saved to your computer you can edit the photo in whatever other um, program like photoshop or paint or something you can remove the background in so in photo director though we're going to go into extract or compose in the edit tab and select background removal so now we're going to click this right here and make it a bit bigger and mask around the actor. Once you have your actor masked out, you can either click remove selected area, since I have masked around the actor I will, or remove unselected area, which basically means if you selected the actor only instead of doing what I did basically the opposite thing then you would click that so I'm gonna click remove the selected area and hit apply now we just have the actor here and we can make some minor adjustments like so then once you're done just click back and you want to save it yes so now we have it back in power director and here it is it's looking a little funny isn't it so we're going to to resize this to make it the same size as the actor back there. See how the eyes line up and the mouth and everything? So that looks about right. And then put it right over top of them. There we go, that seems good. Now we can zoom in here. And let's see here where these two clips meet. We need to drag this so we're cutting the end of the snapshot to where they meet so it should look like this not very exciting right so now what we can do is add a transition um, if you go on to all content and scroll down choose whatever you like I mean, here's an actual dissolve one, but it's a bit pixely, isn't it? So for this one, I chose water droplets because um, it, it looks it looks cool and it looks like an actual dissolve more than a, a pixelated dissolve. So what you want to do is just drag the chosen effect transition thing onto your clip uh, right here on the start. Then we can resize, trimming the end of the clip. Now it should look something like this. It's getting there, but not quite yet. 
So in the transitions uh, room, we're gonna search fade, or you could just look for it, it's searching hours on end. But it's quicker. So the fade we're gonna put in between these two clips. Not here, not here. We're gonna fade these two clips together. So now it looks like that, and we're gonna drag the fade to make it like about that long. And then again, putting this back to right there, if it moves. So basically this fade effect means it'll be smoother when coming into this transition. Or out of it, should I say. So now it looks like this. Then around here, you can see it snap all of a sudden. See? So, and it looks weird. Like that at the end. So what we can do is click on this and just copy it. Go over here and paste and drag it right there. Also getting rid of this transition, trimming it down, adding a fade out of it. Now it looks like this. But I'm just going to tweak this a little bit so that it looks great. But that is not all. You may have noticed that in the intro there was um, a sort of glowing light going on. This has nothing to do with dissolving, so I'm not going to explain it a lot, but just to let you know, all you have to do to um, make this effect is go into the effects room, search flare, it's a lens called lens flare, and just we're going to drag it onto the clip. This looks terrible. So what we're going to do is click on effect, change the lens flare type to type 4, just because it matches the surroundings a little bit, then bring the light size down to nothingness, frame alpha up, and the frame size all the way up, and we can just bring the position, clicking on that, on the actor. And click OK. And now you have this. And you can keyframe it to fade out by keyframing the blend. So the higher the blend, the more transparent it gets, basically. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment for a tutorial you'd like me to do. And thanks for watching. Bye!